Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. To start off, you will need a crochet hook, size medium yarn, scissors, a darning needle, and a hot glue gun. So you're going to start off by creating a magic circle and chaining one. If you need help with how to make a magic circle, I created a reel to better help you. Then you're going to single crochet 4 into the magic circle. Make sure that the first chain is a little loose so it isn't so hard to crochet into when it's time for the next row. Then you're going to pull the yarn to close the circle and this is when you're going to go into the first stitch, slip stitch and then chain one. Like I said, make sure the first chain is a little loose so this doesn't happen. But yeah, slip stitch then chain one. From here you're going to do two single crochets into the next stitch, creating an increase. Then in the next stitch, a single crochet, and in the next stitch, an increase, which is two single crochets in one stitch. Then you're going to go back into that first chain, slip stitch, and chain one. From here, you're going to go back into the same stitch you chained one on and single crochet two times, creating an increase. Then, you're going to single crochet one in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next, and then do an increase. So basically, that's two single crochets and then an increase. Repeat this pattern until the end of the row. Then you're going to go back into the first stitch, slip stitch, and chain one. From here, you'll do an increase in the same stitch you chained one in, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, then increase. So three single crochets, then increase. Repeat this pattern until the end of the row. Then you'll go back into that first stitch, slip stitch, and chain one. From here, you'll do three single crochet rows. Don't forget to slip stitch and chain one after each row, though. Then you're going to do two single crochets and then a decrease. Here's a slower clip so you can see how to decrease. Just repeat this until the end of the row and go into the first stitch, slip stitch, and chain one. You could really see it coming together now. Then you're going to do one single crochet, then a decrease. Repeat this pattern all around. Then from here, you're going to go into the first stitch, slip stitch, chain one, cut, and basically slip the yarn through the hook. Then grabbing your stuffing, you're going to stuff your strawberry to your liking. I also like to shape the strawberry at this point as well. Then grabbing your darning needle, I go through every front loop only. I'm so sorry for the bad angle. From here, I just tug and pull until it closes and weave the remaining yarn in as well. Mm -hmm. 
Then I cut just like this. Then from here, I grab my medium green yarn, make a magic circle, chain one, and then do five single crochets in the magic circle. Then I tuck and pull on my yarn to close the circle. From here, I slip stitch into the first chain and chain one. Counting the one we just did, we're going to chain three more so that in total it's four. Then on the second chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet all the way down. So you'd have three single crochets total at the end of this row. And in the next stitch, you're going to slip stitch, chain 4, and basically repeat the pattern by single crocheting 3. Then slip stitch and repeat until the end of the row. Then you'll slip stitch chain one. And cut, but leave a long enough piece so we can sew it together at the end. Then from here I turn it around and cut this little piece so it doesn't get in the way. Grabbing my darning needle again. I then basically just sew it together. At the end, I just weave it through a few times, then cut. Then, I grab a dark yellow color and cut a long piece of yarn, so I can start making the little seeds. And then once I'm happy with it, I just cut it. Using my darning needle again, I kind of just push it through so it isn't obvious. Then I grab a lighter yellow, make a magic circle, and single crochet five into it. Then you tug and pull on the yarn to close the circle, slip stitch, chain one, and cut. From here, you're going to grab your white yarn and create a loop. Don't make it too tight though. 
Then grabbing the yellow part we just did, you're going to chain one with the white yarn. From here, you'll chain three, four in total. Yarn over and go into the same stitch. Yarn over and go into the same stitch. You'll basically repeat this four times total. Then you're going to yarn over and slip stitch through all but two if that makes sense. Then yarn over again and pull through those remaining two loops. Chain three and slip stitch back into the same stitch that we've been working on. You've now created your first puff. Now we're going to slip stitch right into the next stitch and chain 4. It can be a little tedious. Then you're going to repeat the same pattern by yarning over, going into the same stitch, yarning over, and repeat it 4 different times. Then you're going to yarn over, slip stitch through all but two, and yarn over again and pull through those remaining two loops, chain three, and slip stitch back into that same stitch. So yeah, just repeat this whole pattern until you're left with five puffs. Now that we've reached the end, we'll slip stitch, chain one, and cut. This is what your puff should look like. I also like using my nails to kind of push the puff out more. Then I like tying the white with white and yellow with yellow and then cutting the remaining yarn. Then from here you'll grab your green yarn again and create a magic circle with five single crochets in it. From here, you'll tug and pull on the yarn to close the circle. Then going into the first stitch, slip stitch, chain one, and cut. This is going to be the green part of the flower. Then from here, you're going to chain 60, leaving a long piece of yarn on each side. Then from here, you'll just cut it. Mm -hmm. 
and then you're done with the base which is the most important part now for the leaves you're going to chain 16 On the second chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet. Then in the next stitch, you'll do a half double crochet. And then in the next three stitches, you'll do double crochets. Then you'll do a half double crochet. Single crochet. Slip stitch, then chain one. From here, you'll repeat the same pattern by doing one single crochet, one half double crochet, three double crochets, one half double crochet, and one single crochet. Then again on the other side, you'll repeat the same pattern. I also like starting in the same stitch I did the last single crochet in. You should then be left with something like this. And when I'm on the very last one, I like going into the first stitch, slip stitching, and chaining one. I then go ahead and cut. Then I turn it around and cut the tiny piece of yarn and burn it so it doesn't move anywhere. You can also use hot glue gun if you want for more security. Then grabbing your darning needle, you'll weave the yarn through. and also burn or hot glue. Now we're going to attach the base by going through the little chain one stitches that we did. Just like so. Now grabbing the longer yarn, you're going to go through the middle of the strawberry. And then I just tie several knots. Then I cut it, and you can either push it through to hide it and just leave it, or hot glue the top of the strawberry for extra security.
Now we're going to attach the green part of the flower by sewing it together. Just like so. At the end though, I like leaving a little gap so we can attach the base. Then grabbing the base, I tie a few knots and cut. Then grabbing your hot glue, you're going to glue the bottom part just like so and put it in the little gap you left on the flower. Then with my darning needle, I weave the remaining yarn through and cut. To extra secure it if you want, you can also hot glue the top. And that's it. You're done with your car hanger. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I would really love to see all of your guys' final products. Bye!